Suck my D, suck my D, just suck on my D. Suck my D, suck my D, just suck on my D. Suck my D, suck my D, just suck on my D. Suck my D, suck my D, just suck on my D. Suck my D, 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 suck my D. Suck on, suck on, suck on my D, suck on, suck on, suck on my D, suck on, suck on, suck on my D, suck on, suck on, suck on my D. The black leader of the racist anti-white hate group known as Black Lives Matter, Yuzra Kogali, she's gotten on her computer machine and she's typed up an angry letter. Somebody published it. Uh, the star.com. Opinion. It's within the opinion category. Well, let's hear what Yuzra has to say. To be a black Muslim woman in Toronto is to feel deep isolation. The result of omnipresent, systemic, anti-black, patriarchal, and Islamophobic discrimination. It is to be under constant attack. To see bodies like mine ignored in the news when they suffer, when they disappear, and when they die unjustly. Evidently, some do not believe this is true. During Black History Month, I was bombarded by tweets from white men asking to prove that racism, Islamophobia, and misogyny exist. Why should I have to prove the existence of the forces that torment me and members of my community to people who don't believe they exist, and worse, who perpetrate them? Mmm. Preach. And so two months ago I tweeted, Please Allah, give me strength not to cuss, kill these men and white folks out here today. I put my rage and trauma into words, not action, not threat. Faced with hate, I sought restraint from God and support from my online community. Fast forward to now, Black Lives Matter Toronto, a movement I co-founded, camped outside the police headquarters for two weeks through incredibly difficult weather conditions, fighting for justice against the attack on black life in Toronto. The protest was prompted by the police shooting of Andrew Loku, a man armed with only a hammer. <laughs> I cannot believe she said... She fucking wrote that? <laughs> oh, well, it's her opinion. A man armed only with a hammer. <laughs> oh. You know, in retrospect, when that Viking was attacking our village, he was a man only armed with an axe. <laughs> That's all it was, an instrument to kill people. He was threatening to kill people. Oh, fuck it. What was she saying? <sighs> the protest was prompted by the police shooting of Andrew Loku, a man armed with only a hammer, and the lack of transparency that followed. We have been calling for an end to anti-black racism in all institutions, from the racist practice of carding to the lack of accountability transparency, and oversight of police officers who kill black people in this city. And we got results. In two weeks, we convinced city councilors to pass a motion at City Hall to investigate the lack of transparency and anti-black structures of the Toronto Police Special Investigations Unit. AfroFest was restored to two days, and Premier Kathleen Wynne committed to having a public meeting with us. As the movement gained traction, I became increasingly visible and increasingly the target of those who oppose our cause. Jerry Agar, a Toronto Sun columnist with a long, well-documented record of enmity to our anti-racist goals, attempted to use my visibility to discredit me. A day after the conclusion of my BLMTO tent city, he cited the aforementioned tweet in an attempt to delegitimize an entire movement, and to position my community as undeserving of justice. I am not a public official. I am not a police officer. The state does not entrust me with violent weaponry. I have n not, not even so much as a hammer. 
I have never contributed to the mass targeting of a community. All I have done is used a turn of phrase, a rhetorical flourish, to voice my frustration and dared to be a person calling for justice. To date, I have directly received many disturbing death threats from white supremacists across the country. Somehow, a tweet I wrote out of anger months before our protest began has become a bigger media story than our protest's many and profound accomplishments. The noise surrounding this tweet has also drowned out the discussion we sought to spark about the black lives of those who have died at the guns of police in this country. Journalists have incessantly harassed me, desperate to get a comment on the tweet. Where were they during the entire two weeks of BLMTO Tent City? The media is part and parcel of how anti-black racism works. Too often, black people are ignored or vilified when we speak the truth about our condition. To be black in Toronto is to have been or know somebody who has been brutalized, violated, or battered by the Toronto police. Our lives are plagued by institutional and individual anti-black racism that compromises our access to safety, economic freedom, proper health care, food, housing, employment, education, and culturally restorative support services. To be black in this city is to fight to survive. Mayor John Tory responded to reports of my tweet less than 24 hours after they emerged. Yet for the more than two weeks, black people fought for our humanity in protest outside of police headquarters. He ignored us. That is something everyone in this city should be concerned about. Despite all the violence we endure when we resist, we can never lose sight of the issues. We must continue to seek justice and accountability for our community. We only have more work to do, and this is only the beginning. Black lives matter, here as everywhere, and they always will. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, me, oh, my. <laughs> Usra Kogali, you fucking lunatic. That was your statement about your overt death threat to white people? Holy shit. Fucking scandalous. Well, I would tell you to go tweet her, but she sets her tweets to private. <laughs> because that's what leaders of nationwide organizations do. They confine themselves to a tight little echo chamber. Right. And they write opinion pieces without retort, without debate. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's going to talk over you because black lives, they matter here. Black lives, they matter here. <laughs> Use Kogali the co-founder of Black Lives Matter Toronto, Jesus, is a community organizer. Oh, really? Kind of like Obama? Is that what the reference is? A community organ, More like a riot organizer. Anti-racism? Isn't that ironic? When you yourself are the racist, and yet you classify yourself as anti-racist. Educator. Oh, she's going to educate us on this. Great. And Black Feminist poet. Oh, beautiful. What is a black feminist? Poet. Oh, I'd love to hear your spoken word, Yuzra. Please, somebody tell me there's a YouTube video of her spitting rhymes. Black feminism. Fucking hell. And by the way, on top of it, she's a Muslim. So let's get this all together now. An anti-racist racist, 20-something-year-old educator, and black feminist poet. I believe if I saw that bio on my Tinder account, I would not be swiping. No, Yuzra. You don't get this massive white cock. I'm keeping it to myself. She is also a graduate student at the University of Toronto, pursuing a master's degree in social justice education. That's a master's? What the fuck is that? Uh, I got my master's in SJWing. Priceless. Oh, fuck. The sound you just heard was me slapping my forehead. I am uh, just stunned at this and just amused. Bemused. What's the difference? I can't believe characters like this exist. I cannot wait to see what she does next. 
uh, Black Lives Matter is the new KKK. Racism is racism, no matter what color. And fuck you, Usera, and fuck you, Black Lives Matter. Devin Tracy, saying goodnight. Bye bye. Somebody, somebody, just suck on my D. Suck my D, suck my D, just suck on my D. Suck my D, suck my D, just suck on my D. Suck my D, suck my D, just suck on my D. Suck my D, suck my D, suck my D. Suck my D, suck my D, suck my D, suck my D, suck my D. Why don't you go and suck on my D? Suck my D, suck my D. Put it in your mouth, yum yum yum. Suck my D, suck my D, suck my D, suck my D. Suck my D, suck my D, suck my D, suck my D. Why don't you go in put my dog in your mouth? Thank you, Dad, for this D that you passed down to me. Nishivan Lanami Kanasandan Dondi. Holy shit, I just spoke in a different language. What that means is that you can suck my D. Suck my D, suck my D, suck my D, suck my D.